In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the sum of moments about a point. So in this problem here, we have this bar and we have these two forces here, F1 and F2. And in this case, F1 equals 30 newtons and F2 equals 45 newtons. And the question is asking us to find the resultant moment about point O, the origin. So just to quickly define what a moment is, a moment, okay, the, the moment about a point is equal to the force applied to it times the perpendicular distance, which we call the moment arm. So for example, if we, want, if we have a point here, which we'll call O, and we want to find the moment about it, we have this distance here, we have this bar, Okay, we have this bar and its distance or its length is represented by the character D. And then we apply a perpendicular force to it called F. Okay, F. Then the moment is F times D. So in this question here, we have this bar and we're asked to find the resultant moment about it. Since there are two forces, F1 and F2, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finding the sum of moments to give us uh, the total resultant moment about the origin, about point O. So in this case here, F1 is not perpendicular to this bar. So to, in our calculation, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the perpendicular component of F1. And the same thing here, F2 is not is not perpendicular to the bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the perpendicular component of F2. So in our calculation then, what it'll look like is we would write the moment, okay, the resultant moment, MR, about the origin, O, is going to be equal to the sum of moments about the origin. Now before we start our calculation, what we have to do is we have to determine or define which rotation is positive. Because what moments do is they have they cause the moment arm to rotate in some direction. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define counterclockwise as positive. Okay? You can do either or, you can do counterclockwise, you can do clockwise, whatever you want, as long as you stay consistent in your calculation. In this case, I'm just using counterclockwise as positive just because both these forces have a tendency to make the bar rotate counterclockwise. So in my final answer, I'm going to get a positive answer. So to make our calculation, what we're going to do is we're going to take the this force here, F1, the perpendicular component of F1 times its moment arm which is 2.5 meters. So it's going to be F1, so 30 times cos 25. Okay, and it's going to be cos because we're looking for the adjacent uh, length here. Times the distance, which is 2.5 m, the perpendicular distance, the moment arm, plus this force here, or I should say this force, the perpendicular component, which would be 45 times cos 30 newtons. And then we're going to multiply that by the uh, by the moment arm. So the distance from the origin is going to be 2.5 meters plus 0 0.75 meters. And then when we put that into our calculator, we would get 195 newton meters. And this is our answer. 